This morning, an FDA advisory panel is set to begin a two-day meeting to discuss allowing Moderna and Johnson & Johnson booster shots, a crucial test before they would be authorized for emergency use. The FDA is going to have their hands full, you know, in the next day and a half to, to really get their, their brains around all of this. Also up for debate, whether to allow mixing and matching vaccines. For example, getting a Pfizer booster if you received initial doses from Moderna. A new highly anticipated study by the National Institutes of Health shows mixing and matching boosters is safe and effective. Regardless of what you uh, received initially, uh, a booster vaccine with any of the three candidate vaccines uh, will induce uh, a strong immune response. The study, which has not been peer-reviewed yet, found J&J &J recipients had higher antibody responses with a Pfizer or Moderna booster, but researchers say that's only one factor of protection and did not measure overall efficacy. Separately, as J&J &J seeks approval for a booster of its vaccine, the FDA is questioning data the company provided. FDA scientists did say there may be a benefit from a second J&J &J dose two months after the initial shot, but noted the data is limited and has not been thoroughly independently reviewed. It's not clear whether these concerns would be enough to delay the rollout. We have the vaccine supply and we will be ready to hit the ground running as soon as any additional boosters are authorized. Meanwhile, the White House says vaccine mandates are working. 66 million eligible Americans are still unvaccinated, but that's down from 97 million in July when mandates were announced. New data shows last week COVID cases in the U.S. dropped 12 percent from the previous week, hospitalizations down 11 percent. Still, despite the recent decrease in cases, most communities across the country are still experiencing substantial to high levels of community transmission. Last month, the president asked the Labor Department to make a rule saying that any company with 100 or more workers would have to mandate vaccines or weekly testing. A person familiar with the process tells NBC News that could be finalized as early as next week, but questions remain about how it would be enforced and how it could withstand legal challenges from red states that are banning vaccine mandates. Hoda. All right, Gabe Gutierrez. Gabe, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.